G'day guys. And I thought I'd do a quick clip explaining the siphons inside my system and why I use them. I'm not gonna go into all the basics about how they work because there's a million um, clips on YouTube about them. So it's a bit of a waste of time. If you wanna learn that sort of stuff, go and have a look because they are quite simple to use. There's three things that stop them from working because there's not enough flow of water coming through it, there's too much flow going into it, or the bend underneath the bed isn't right. They're the three major things that cause hiccups and they're quite easy to figure out. In here, I have one of my bell siphons. I've got them through most of my system and they work quite well. So what they basically do is it causes suction for all the water to get pulled out and get dumped straight out of the system. So, some of you guys may be wondering why you actually need it. And that's what I'm gonna try and explain in this clip. So there are a couple different ways that you can run your system. The first one is constant flood and the second one is flood and drain. The flood and drain basically means that the water level comes up to a point and then it floods out completely. So all the water leaves the system. And the other one is constant flood, which is basically the sounds. The water goes through and stays at a constant level inside the system. There are two different types of flood and drains that you can get inside of a system. The first is with a siphon and the second is with a timed flood and drain. So with its timed flood and drain, you'll need a more powerful pump and it pushes the water into the bed it starts to overflow and then the, then the pump clicks off. And then basically all the water inside of the bed starts to drain out of the bed and into the system, slowly. This actually has some um, good points to it. It stops the water from rushing out and it keeps the solids trapped inside of the bed. However, it does mean you need a more powerful pump for the system. And the second is what I've got right here. It's just a regular siphon and it works quite well. But the reason to have the siphon in the first place so this is the inlet of water into my bed. If I didn't have a siphon, the way I'd see it is the water would take the path of least, path of least resistance and go straight to the um, standpipe in there. And it just would not go to every single part of the bed. So I want fresh water going to every single corner of the bed. So what the siphon basically does is it drains out all the water and then all the fresh water goes to all the other edges of the bed. And it ensures that the um, nitrifying bacteria gets a chance to work inside of it, which is what I want. Okay, so I'm not saying that constant flood doesn't work, because it obviously does, because people use it, and people use it quite well. But for me, I don't get fantastic results from it. This bed here is a constant flood bed, meaning that the water here stays at a very constant level throughout the entire thing. Now, I've got it set up so that the water gets di distributed into different parts of the bed at once. So it's not just coming out of the one bit and going straight to the standpipe. It comes out through these pipes here and all the way down the system, which is what I want. However, one thing I have noticed is that I don't get as good growth through the constant flood as what I do the siphon beds. The siphon beds just outperform the constant flood. Well, at least in my system it does. I know some people might have different results, but this is how it works for me. And I'll show you the comparison. Both these beds were planted with tomatoes at the same time, both have had the same water, both of them have the same nutrients, and they've both got about the same sort of sunlight. But you'll be able to see for yourself the difference between the two beds. So like I said, these two beds were planted at the exact same time. This one here is a constant flood bed. Now it does work. There is no argument about it because I do get growth in here. But if you compare this bed here to this bed over here. So this bed is running on a, con on a flood and drain. Now I've put about the same amount of tomatoes in each and you can see for yourself the difference in growth that I'm getting out of these two beds here. And in my mind it is because of this thing in here. So that is my bell siphon down there. Okay, so another thing that the flood and drain has over the constant flood is it introduces water, oxygen into the water. It does this two ways. So when the bed floods out all the water, the water is rushing around as it goes out, combining with air, and going back into the fish tank, or the salt tank, however you've got it set up, and it is just churning around and creating far more oxygen inside of the water, far more than you'd get through a constant flood setup. The other way is that it adds oxygen to the roots of the plants. So for half of the time, 
the water is not actually touching the roots. There's moisture in there, there's enough moisture, so there's no, no problems for the plants. But it adds oxygen and everything to the roots. So the roots get a chance to breathe and they just grow so much better. Well, they do at least in my system. So yeah, um, that's about it. And if you've got any questions, please shout away. And if you like my clips, subscribe about there. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching, guys.